Hello everyone, it's me Kim from Fragrancy Blog and I'm in a very comfortable setting. I'm on the couch with my little dog. Here he is. And um, I wanted to do a review um, about a documentary. And the documentary I want to talk about is uh, called The Nose. And it's about the perfume nose of the brand Nasumato. And for the people that um, don't know who he is, I will insert uh, two images here of the fragrances. And the reason why I watched this uh, documentary is also because when I was in Russia, I got a chance to smell a scent called absinthe. And um, this scent just completely, I don't know, it really got me. It was really, it was a really strange one. When I was back home, I received uh, a sample of this scent um, because someone from Fragantica sent me it. Um, and I was wearing it and I don't know, and I didn't got any compliments or whatsoever. But I just really enjoyed the scent Absinthe by Nasamato itself. And that's why I kind of got into the whole brand Nasamato. And when I was in Poland uh, last summer, um, I got a chance to smell all the Nasamato perfumes. And my boyfriend um, really liked the black Afghano scent that is um, inspired by the scent of Hush or uh, hashish perfumes. And when I saw that there was a documentary about the perfumer behind the scents, um, I just had to watch it. So this weekend, me and my boyfriend watched the documentary. Um, the whole name of the documentary is The Nose in the Search for Blamage. And it's basically the story of the perfumer trying to find his way through a lot of ingredients and things from India and stuff like that. I don't know. I was so intrigued by it and how he treats ingredients and how this man is on the hunt for the perfect sandalwood. Um, I just wanted to la make like a documentary review about it since it's also about sense. Um, well, the documentary is by Paul Richter of Alessandro Guattieri which is a man from Italy, and he calls himself the nose. And Nasomato means the crazy nose. So he thinks that, that his nose is crazy and that he likes to, I don't know, create unusual stuff. And in this documentary, you will find him on the road and um, yeah, traveling to other countries to find the perfect um, blend for blamage. And this guy, Alessandro, is living in Amsterdam and his wife is Dutch and she is a fashion designer. So it was fun to see him uh, talking Dutch in his um, Amsterdam um, workspace. Um, and it, it was just really nice. I'm not sure if I am allowed to include like screenshots or clips uh, from the documentary. But anyway, I will just insert the pictures that I found on Google. Um, um, also, the way everything is filmed is really beautiful. Um, Every time Alessandro talks about like notes or some kind of feeling or vibe, they have like beautiful, um, almost yeah, micro lens shots of the ingredients. And oh, I just really liked it. It really made this documentary feel more like it was about perfume. Um, the Alessandro himself is a very, I don't know, artistic person um, with a great sense of style, in my opinion. And I just really like it when people are so passionate about a product 
they make. I don't know. It just really... That's what I love about niche perfumes. I just really like the story behind it. And coming back to the absinthe perfume, the reason why I didn't buy it in Russia was um, because of the price. Because it was 180 euros. Um, and in Holland, I think it's like 100 or 150 euros. So in Russia, it was way more expensive. I'm not sure why. Um, but it was too expensive because it was like a 30 milliliter bottle. So after seeing this documentary, um, which is also great advertising, like my boyfriend said, and he's completely right, I just really want to buy myself a bottle of Nasomato absinthe because I just love how this guy is talking and creating his sense. You also get like a little bit of a behind the scenes uh, sneak peek of people um, bottling the perfumes, labeling them. Um, I don't know. I find it to be very inspiring and I also really, I don't know, makes me think about the job of being a perfumer. Um, I don't know any science or something like that. And I'm not sure if I will ever, I don't know, put all my energy in it to actually learn um, the art of creating fragrances. But I would love to just have like, I don't know, a meeting or like a workshop with him. Or, I don't know, with anyone else like Francis Gourjean. When I met him... And the way he talked about his fragrances really inspired me. And it's almost like art. Um, and I just really liked it. And I just, I don't know, this is not a review or anything about the perfume. But I just really wanted to share it because I'm so enthusiastic about it. And I want everyone to see it. Um, the documentary is um, available online to watch. Um, when you go to like the official link, you have to pay 4 euros to see it, but I found a link on the national uh, Dutch television where you can watch it for free. Um, so I hope it's still free, I'm not sure if it was like limited. Um, but yeah, it was very fun to watch. Let me know in the comments, have you seen this documentary or do you recommend me another one? Or maybe a, uh, a book about perfumes I should review. Um, just let me know. And for now, um, see you soon. Bye-bye.